We start with uh, clients' goals, getting them to focus on where they want to be, and success is a long-term uh, is a long-term road, not a short-term one. If we're trying to guess what's going to happen with the market in the next six to twelve months, that's guessing, that's market timing, and that's very risky. It's easier to put together a strategy that's going to take advantage of the ups and downs that are going to happen, that's going to take advantage of the changes in tax policy because you have the flexibility to be able to make changes as you need to. And that's really what people should be focusing on. The approach that we take is to continually to reinforce the strategy and the st how the strategy relates to their long-term goals which are then put into a financial plan to begin with. So before we even start working with someone we insist that we design a plan for them that, uh, that we don't charge for so we put together a plan which uh, details what it's going to take to reach their goals and how we go about and how we propose going about achieving it. And then we continually go back to that plan. So in a year like 2008 when the market drops like a stone and geez we're not going to hit our goals and so forth, well we're not going to hit our goals by taking a 30 percent bath at this point and then sitting in a money market that's not paying anything waiting for the, uh, the skies to part or something. And, God to speak from the burning bush and say it's time to get back into the market because that's not going to happen. And so by pointing out the, uh, the fundamental problems with making these bad decisions, I think goes a long way to, to help clients to stay focused that, okay, the market is going to recover at some point and our best strategy is to stay with the plan rebalance the portfolio back to what the strategy called for, which is forcing us to buy stocks when they're down and then ride the market back up. How do you keep in touch with clients? How do you keep them apprised of what's happening with their investments and whether maybe a rebalance or a change is, is in order? Communication we have found to be one of our greatest assets because what we do with clients uh, once is to review with them on a regular basis and by that every three months we do a review which is reviewing the performance, how is your portfolio performing, what's going on in your financial life, what do we need to do for taxes and so forth, things that you would normally expect in a review but we also reinforce the strategy. We have a strategy for when stocks go down. We don't know when that's going to happen and that's okay. Don't expect us to be able to, to get you out before the market goes down because nobody can do that. But when the market does go down, we're going to rebalance and take advantage of the low stock prices because in the long run, stock prices, the uptrends have been permanent and the downtrends have been just temporary. We also then, to, in order to reinforce that, is have seminars periodically where, again, we reinforce the strategy. So it's a constant message that they're hearing that there is a strategy in place that we expect stocks to go down and that's okay and uh, when it does we have a strategy for taking advantage of that so that they don't panic in 2008 when it looks like the world is coming to an end and now we find out that oh, once again the, wor the end of the world was averted <laughs> it didn't end right. and and only the people that lost in 2008 were the people that sold when the market went down and now they're sitting there in cash waiting for the right time to get back in and there never is going to be an alarm that goes off and says, okay, now it's time to get back in. When you think about financial planning, of course, it's easy to morph it all into numbers. And I think probably my profession attracts a lot of left-brainers because they like to work with numbers. But really, this profession is about our lives. Uh, in, in this case, it's about our clients' lives and the importance of family and what they want to do with their lives. And money is just a way of making sure that those things can happen or giving them the ability to make those things happen. And so I think that's probably the most exciting thing because each case is unique. Uh, each client's family is unique, their situation is unique, and trying to put all these pieces together, the, the, uh, the tax piece, the estate planning piece, the investment piece, uh, the debt piece, you know, should we buy, uh, pay off our house, should we refinance, should we buy the next car, should we uh, lease the next car, should we pay cash for it, putting those pieces together so that they can enjoy life the way they want to enjoy it and do it with the least amount of risk, the least amount of taxes, the least amount of expenses, buying things that we don't need and so forth, uh, so that it all works together. That's what I think is exciting.